Hello everyone, my name is Petro and in this video I'm going to be showing you a digital soldiering station from Parkside. I bought this specific one from eBay, I didn't buy it uh, from Lidl this time because Lidl didn't have this one available and I've been looking for this specific one for a while now. Uh, I paid £20 uh, from eBay, uh, the person I bought it from uh, bought it brand new but they never, they never actually used the product. If I had to make a guess, Lidl would sell this specific one between 15 to 20 pounds. So that would be a rough estimate. So what I'm going to do is show you the product itself uh, and, then, and then turn it on and also compare it with the, with the previous uh, Parkside product which is slightly cheaper and it doesn't have the digital uh, screen. So let's get into it. So this specific one comes in a medium sized box. And as we can see here from the illustration, this is what the product looks looks like. So you have the main uh, the main base, uh, the, the station where the, you put the the soldering iron and the actual and the actual iron uh, itself. Now this specific one comes with a few accessories, which is the the soldering iron material, uh, two tips, and the sponge which, which you wet to clear the, the the soldering iron tip. Now let's zoom in at the top right. I'm sorry, top left. And here are, so, uh, here are some technical information. You can pause it if you wish. And that's the information at the top. Now on the side, I believe it's the exact same information. Yeah, it's the exact same information. Again, this one comes with three year warranty if you were to buy it from Lidl. On the other side, the exact same information as the top and then as the top. Now here I believe we have some, hopefully the light is not reflecting too much. There's further information about the product. Again, you can pause and read it if you wish. And then, then I check on the other side as well. So again, there is, here is information, but in a, in a different language, which, which is in Greek. Let's check the bottom. And pretty much that's all the information uh, around the box. The way to open this one, normally this one would have a plastic uh, sealing sticker here. You'd use a knife uh, or a scissor and you should be able to open it as simple as that. And then you'll pull this out. And this is what is going to be in the box. Now, I'm not entirely sure if you were to buy it from Lidl, it would be exactly like that. But again, I bought it from eBay. Uh, the person I bought it from, they haven't used it at all. They just bought it and never used it. So let's just get the, the items out. So this is, this is everything that's inside the box. Let me just put this here because one of the tips fell off. Now you get the instructions or the owner's manual. This specific one, as most uh, most products uh, from Parkside come with the with a barcode, which you can scan and get the PDF online uh, format uh, for the guide. So let me just get this out of the way. This is what the product uh, looks like. So you get the main base with the screen, and then of course you get the soldering iron with the station. And that's what it looks like. Now, this specific one is uh, slightly different from the cheaper version, which is £10 or 9 99 which is this one here. So if I were to compare those two. This is what they are going to look like. So the, major, the, the, the main difference here, uh, the main difference here would be that the one doesn't have a screen, which is the left one. And the right one has a screen which you can actually see while it's warming up and the actual temperature uh, of the soldering iron. And of course this one you would put the, the stand for this one would be on the product itself. And you can't move it, it has to be there. Whereas with the, with the one on the right, uh, you, can, you, can, you can leave it anywhere. But let me just leave this on the side for a second. And going back to this one. Now about the base, this specific one here is quite heavy. Now, inside here, 
I don't know if the camera is able to visualize, but you should be able to see like a silvery uh, kind of grayish color. That specific one there, I'm not entirely sure if it's, if it's some sort of a stone or metal. But if I had to give it a guess, I would say some sort of a metal. And what happens is once you leave the soldering iron in there, the tip uh, doesn't actually burn, uh, doesn't burn anything or cause damage. So they have been very, uh, very cautious when they were making this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this on. Uh, well, one more thing that I forgot to mention is that with this specific one, uh, like with the, with, the, with the cheaper version that ha doesn't have the, the digital screen, you get three tips. So you get the one, the one that's already on the soldering iron, and then of course you get two more, which are in the small glove box or small compartment on the actual product itself, which are these two. And then of course you get the material, the material itself and the sponge which you need to wet first and then leave it uh, in its designated area right there. Now uh, just before I turn it on, let me just show you something because most, most people, uh, most of you probably would ask what's happening with the tips and if you are able to get tips because those are screwing tips. They are not the normal uh, universal tips. So if I show you here, so they look like this. Now the universal ones or the, the most common ones, they would look something like that. So if I were to open just a normal soldering iron, the tip is going to look like this. So if you were to compare the two, They are quite different. And as I said, the, the normal universal ones that most most of the soldiering irons use are these ones. Which as I said, which are completely different from the ones that Parkside uh, uses. Now, uh, there were I've seen quite a few videos online that uh, are cautioning people that if you're buying this product be very careful because uh, most likely you won't be able to buy tips but uh, that's absolutely wrong uh, on a previous video I did mention it to keep that in mind but what happens is Amazon sells them and other uh, you can find them on eBay as well but it's uh, the way the way you google or you search the name for it so if you were to put screw in tips they will they will be you'd be able to find them and they would come up but if you were to press the normal if you were to, pre to write um, soldiering iron tips they wouldn't come up so I'm going to show you an example here I bought uh, this one's from uh, from Amazon I pay 10 pounds and I get 27 pieces so you should be able to see the post ad in your screen any second now and that should be more helpful so let me just get some of them out so as you can see here again I lost the original box so I'm sorry for that guys so as you can see, you get, I paid ten pounds and I go and I got twenty-eight different pieces of uh, screwing tips, and then of course you get the you get some tips with uh, with the warm up, and then uh, you can you can do it on a wood or leather, so you can leave a stamp. So this is what kind of the one of the one part of the packaging looks like. So you get twenty-eight tips, I believe, with ten pounds, but you should have you should have been able to see uh, the post ad that I showed you a few seconds ago. So there is a lot of tips you can get for this specific one, uh, no issue at all. So don't don't worry about getting tips. You can go to eBay or Amazon, but I would advise you to go to Amazon. For ten pounds, you will get 27, uh, 27 pieces compared to compared to these ones, which are going to be what well, you're going to be getting like five or six of them for six or seven pounds. Uh, again, with uh, the one from Parkside seems to be cheaper uh, as well. So the next thing to do here is show you how this works and how that was the information on the actual screen. So what I'm going to do is plug this on the uh, onto the electricity, then turn that on, and then we should be able to see the, the screen. But of course we need to turn it on from uh, actually what I didn't do is I didn't show you around the product, but there is not much. There's no there's not enough information on the back. So all the information is here. So you can see the plus and the minus button. 
uh, will increase and decrease the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius, if I'm not wrong, but we should be able to find that out. On the bottom left, you have the power on and the power off button, which is by, indicated by a 0 or a 1. And then on the right hand, if the camera is able to visualize, you get a button for 200 uh, Celsius degrees, 300 Celsius degrees, and I believe the last one is 400 uh, Celsius degrees. So you press one of them and automatically it will take it to, to that specific temperature. So let me just turn it on. And the screen turns on. Now what happens is this automatically will take the soldering iron uh, or the temperature to 200 degrees straight away. As you can see, there is a small arrow pointing left for the 200 Celsius degrees. And you can see from the screen that slowly that will warm up. So I'm going to give it a few seconds, but it's fairly quickly. So it warms up fairly quickly and you should be able to see that uh, on, the, on the screen now. This one is definitely, uh, if you're doing small hobbies and stuff like that, that requires a soldering iron, I would definitely advise you guys to get one of them. I have been looking to get this specific one for a while, but online, online it was selling between 40 to 50 pounds and I, I didn't want to spend that, that amount of money. Uh, I wasn't lucky enough to get this from Lidl, but one of the... I was lucky, I was lucky enough to find it from a buyer on eBay that he was selling it with, uh, with the postage, including the shipping, uh, for 20 pounds and I was really lucky. And again, this is a new product, the guy didn't use it, so I was lucky enough. Now, from what you can see here, while, uh, while we were waiting, it went fair, fairly quickly to 200 degrees. Now, what I'm going to show you is now this will be on standby at 200 degrees Celsius. Now, if I were to press the plus button, it will go uh, by 10 degrees up and that slowly now will warm up again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the 300, pound, uh, 300 uh, Celsius uh, button and that that now will take the temperature to 300 and now you should be able to see how fast it's going to go from the from where it is to 300 and it's it's fa it's fairly quickly uh, the use of it is very simple i didn't read the news manual but i would advise you to do it but i do have experience with uh, products uh, such as this ones such as this one and there you are it's as simple as that it's an amazing cheap product and you get a lot out of it and especially the screen, it helps a lot for you to know the temperature because depending on the on the flux you are using, and when I mean flux is the product, uh, is the liquid product that you use uh, to make the connections uh, with, the, uh, with the connectors. And it's very important that some of them require a specific temperature. They, they would require you not to go more than 275 degrees or more than 300 degrees. And it's very important to know uh, the, exact, uh, the exact temperature. So that's it pretty much uh, guys, so if I show you the, compare them again, but let me just turn this off, just for safety reasons. Leave this on the side. So on the left hand you have the cheaper version which is, nine, uh, let's say 10 pounds uh, soldering iron uh, from Parkside, and on the right hand you have the exact, uh, not exactly, they have a similar one, uh, but the only difference here is, would be that uh, you get you get the you get a digital screen to see the uh, to see the temperature and of course some additional buttons uh, that have 200 300 and 400 uh, Celsius temperature to press which make this slightly easier so this is what they look like again it's for you to decide if you would get the cheaper version but I would advise you to invest slightly more and get uh, the digital version absolutely amazing product you get three years warranty with it I don't know how uh, little managers sell, sell these ones uh, as cheap as that, but definitely is a good quality product. And again, I can show you, I can show you another which I paid uh, 15 pounds, which is this one which I bought from eBay. Very few information. Uh, again, you can see. So I paid 15 for that one on eBay, whereas this is 10 pounds, and you can tell the difference straight away which one is safer to use and which one don't. It's not. And then for a few pounds more, you can get even a better one with a digital screen. But that's it pretty much, guys. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Do press the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, stay safe and take care.